Hi everyone! Today is going to be a review of Star Trek Discovery Season 2, Episode 2, New Eden. But basically this like help signal has been broadcasting from this planet for 200 years and when they go down there they're humans living like present today for us Earth, except they don't have electricity. I find this planet very interesting for a number of reasons, but like also 200 years is not really that long when you think about it. Like it's 2020 right now as I'm filming this, so 200 years ago was in 1820, and like yeah we've had a lot of like technology and things since 1820, but in like the grand scheme of things 200 years is not that long. So when you think about it, this group of people would still have like very clear ideas about like clear memories of life on Earth and they've created this new religion where they've like combined a bunch of Earth religions together. Even after 200 years, their like new religion would still be very very new compared to like all of the earth religions that they've combined together. In this episode Tilly also gets knocked out by the dark matter and when she wakes up in the hospital she meets May who she remembers later in the episode is her former classmate and she looks up May on the computer and finds out that she supposedly died yet she's on the ship, and since I have seen all of season two, actually I do know where this storyline goes. I found Jacob to be a very interesting character and very like sympathetic because I feel for him a lot, but the way that the episode ends for him is like baffling to me because he wants to be like he's been broadcasting this signal hoping that someone will come save them and like his family has been in charge of the signal for like 200 years and his family has always wanted someone to come save them and then when it finally happens like he wants them to be saved but then he just suddenly at the end accepts that they can't be saved and he says he's satisfied just knowing the truth but like I honestly I don't get that. I don't know. This is something I'd be interested in talking to people about because if I my entire life had been like known this family's secret and my family is trying to figure out what actually happened on earth and we're convinced that earth has become more technologically advanced and everything and then I find out that it's true, but I can't really learn more about it or see any see any of it for myself, and I'm just gonna like let us stay on this planet without knowing anything. Like I just I understand that they give him the battery, so like supposedly I'm assuming he's going to start developing technology so that eventually they'll be able to like find the rest of the universe on their own, but like, I don't know. If I were him, I would have been way more frustrated than he is at the end of the episode, so I don't fully understand that, to be entirely honest. But I did find the planet as a whole very interesting, and actually, now that I'm talking about it, I kind of want to go see if there's any fan fiction just about that planet. I think that's everything I have to say. I think everything else that was kind of introduced in this episode I want to save to talk about later and also it's really hot in here so I want to turn the fan back on so I will see you guys later. Bye!